meant that new champions had to have mobility or they just wouldn't compare to the old ones. And, and this has been true for League of Legends forever. Any champion that has too much mobility that ever becomes meta is not fun to play against. Kalista, during the time of her meta, was broken as shit. Because she has so much mobility. There's no way to run away from her. There's no way to kite her. No way to hit her with skill shots. Azir. So much mobility. and In his case, his mobility is a weird function. But he's got mobility and range damage and spades. And that's never fun to play against. And now it looks like... And Katarina and Soliki. So much mobility. So much unbelievable mobility. In pro, she's not that great because she's 100% a snowballing champion, but in solo queue, it's incredibly frustrating to play against a champion like Katarina that has all this mobility, makes it really difficult to land skill shots, really difficult to make intelligent decisions when she does so much damage over such a short period of time while also being able to jump on top of you whenever she wants. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. And we're down a man right now, unfortunately. So Karma burned her flash, but she didn't die. So that's already not so bad. She killed a Katarina, so she's my new main. Can't wait to see Nightblood Aurelia. They really did change her visually in a big way. Cool, so we're up against a Pantheon with Ignite. He wants kills. So we're going to take it slowly, if I can. I know I say this, and so frequently I go aggressive or offensive or whatever. Let's see if I can hold on to my defensive posture. Because in the end... Um, Urga does really well against Pantheon because he's a bruiser. It means that he can absorb more damage than a normal champion while also dishing out a ton of damage. Pantheon is also technically a bruiser. You're not going to throw spears at me? Why not? I like your spears. Throw them at me. break that shield. Did he start E first? One nice thing about Urgot is that he shoved so very well in the beginning. Alright, have fun with that. So that I can then hop over here, drop a war, and if our jungler went into their jungle, oh, yeah, I'll come help. I don't think I need to. You're fine. Yep, and he's missed a bunch of CS. That's good. I missed one uh, minion's worth of XP. So now he has a, an ever so slight experience lead. But there we go. I still hold the CS lead, and more importantly. Oh, there went most of his life. Nice, and Kindred got first blood. Very nice. I just shit all over this guy. Oh, I can't get him. Yeah, I should chug this potion. Good, he's using his Q to farm. Awesome. Just trying to shove. Oops. I well, we got his flash. I'm a little low on mana, and unfortunately, I missed my E. 
Also, I was really hoping... I mean, the Kindred got the aggro, which is probably better in this situation. That's a lot of damage. I'm just too low on mana. I can't actually do anything. Oh no. Oh no. Alright. Still ended up being kill for kill, but that sucked. Unfortunately, she was just within tower range when he stunned, when uh, he got the stun off. The good news, he's gonna miss out on it in a big way, so it's all okay. And I've got double buff, which is really nice. All right, cool. All right, well, either way, we're in good shape now. I can get this, and one of these, and one of those, and one of these. And now I've got a humongous advantage in the lane. I've got a kill, he's got a kill, sure. But the big difference here is that I shoved two waves into the tower after his death. So he missed out on a bunch of XP. I'm almost six. Once I'm six, I can just kill him. If he's not, if he is a level behind me at that point and we're, and we're doing well, it's just, I'm, I'm, oh, he just hit six. Not that it matters, his level six doesn't mean anything. Mine means a lot. Oh, you're dead. Whoops. Somebody greeted out. Somebody greeted out. You were looking for the farm, and so you stood still against a champion with, uh, with a skill shot CC. That doesn't seem like a smart idea. All right, so he is level six, so he could alt. I'm just going to. I do not want to push this that further. He could ult, and it could very easily kill me. He's letting them know he could show up any moment. Yep, there he is. Oh, uh, Karma's dead. Um, well, I tried. Whatever, Pantheon didn't get anything, so who cares. And now the Pantheon's down here. Um... Hmm. Could TP down. There's really no point now. I should actually TP up, but whatever. This is also pushing towards me. The Pantheon just shot himself in the foot when he ulted down there. Yes, he got a kill for his bot lane on the car. Uh -oh. hmm? No, you don't. No, you do not. No, you do not. Okay, good thing I didn't burn my teleport earlier. And now we can take this tower for sure. Wow, that was good. That was really good. And I'm going to head back to top lane. There's a big wave coming, because that's the nice part. When I left the lane, it was pushing towards me, which means that Pantheon just now missed maybe two or three full waves worth of CS, and I'm going to catch over two waves worth of CS just right here. And another wave's coming, so this is fantastic. Yes, destroying Pantheon feels nice, though. I give credit to the Kindred for helping start that out. Oh, did you just throw a spear at me? Dude, you do not understand who you are fucking with. Huh? Did not know who he was fucking with. I feel a little low on health, though. I'm gonna drop a pink one here. 
I am a little low on health. He probably has his ignite up. This is a somewhat dangerous situation. I say somewhat because, to be honest, he can't dive. He's not strong enough. But if I am out in open terrain fighting, then yes, he can really hurt. Just gonna wait for this to push in. I got no reason to do anything. I don't think his old might be up again. Just gonna fall. It's all okay. I've got a huge lead right now. There's no reason for me to risk anything. Yep. You have to give up that CS. Because I made you give it up. Pretty sure he's got it warded. Oh! Oh! Damn it, I was short. Did he flash? It looked like he flashed. Okay. Wow, my Q did a lot of damage. Am I dead? Yes, sir. God damn it. I didn't press ghost in time and he flashed for that. So clearly he didn't flash earlier. I I forgot. The the bubble takes 2.2 seconds before it triggers, so I guess he had enough time to walk over and just out of range. That's too bad. Well, damn. I needed to get out of there sooner. That's just my my bad. That's not what I meant to do. Right, fuck it, I'm just gonna wait for boots. Wee. I don't think that'll actually get me there fast. Yes, farming with comets. It's a fun practice. It's also really difficult to do. Because it means that you need to land your Q on an enemy. Oh, damn. Oops. Yeah, Karma, you gotta be a little more careful with your aggression into the enemy jungle hub. Uh, you're dead. What are you guys doing getting caught out like this? Whatever. Pantheon doesn't have anything else to roam with, so I'm taking the tower. Or as much as I can. Well, my team just all killed themselves. That's highly unfortunate. Enemy team might just get the tier 1 mid now. I should be able to get this tower if nobody comes to respawn. I don't think anybody is. But tier 1 top for tier 1 mid is never a good trade. Unless you also get a bunch of kills for it, which is not the case because they got the bunch of kills. I don't have much time here, but I think I have enough time to take this tower. And it doesn't look like they're heading towards me. Alright, so traded tier 1 mid for tier 1 top and 4 lives. Mm. Crab? Crab! Yeah, we gotta be careful. Their team has a lot of pick potential. Oh, we got the tower. Yeah, their team has a ton of pick potential. Aw, uh, smited. Wait, what? Where was your sleepy trouble bubble? God, I hate saying that out loud. Sounds so stupid. Oh? Uh. Nah, 
I'm not gonna throw my ult out blindly like that. Glad that you can ward while backing. Convenient. And now I got my cleaver. Let's head to top lane. Catch the wave. I'll keep an eye out, see if maybe the Pantheon tries to do something stupid. And I'll just teleport in. You want to show pure cancer? I really don't think I want to see pure cancer. I have a feeling that's not going to look pleasant. Okay. Is there a Pantheon ult incoming? Wow, that's a lot of damage. And she's dead. Nice. I'm here. They don't need me. Good. I can shut them. What is Kogma doing? Let's just shut that out. That Jax looks like he's in trouble. Yeah, he had to flash and... He'll still die. Nice. Oh crap. That works. No, you don't. No, you do not. No, you do not. <laughs> I was a little worried that when I when I teleported and the target I was teleporting to save just died, I thought, oh, I could be in really bad position. And then the Sleepy Trouble Bubble hit, and I'm like, ooh, money. <laughs> At that point, yeah, the fight was won. The Kindred went way over aggro, but... She did pick up a kill, and then allowed the rest of us to pick up more. Uh-oh. Oh, ain't that a bitch. Well, plenty of time to do a lot of damage to this turret. And now we... Really would love to kill this Pantheon, but well, I'm not sure how straightforward that would be. I was gonna shoot it, but this is fine. And I really would love to kill this Pantheon. And hi there, Jens DB, how you doing? Ergon and Swain are enemies. What are you talking about? No, dude, they're the best of friends. They love each other. They go to each other's poker games. Come on, how how much enemies could they be? Oh yes, keep pushing. Go here. Go for these. That's right. Hi there. How's it going? Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're dead. Wow. Boy, that's unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Urgot can do that to Pantheon. Especially when he's ahead. And I am ahead. Poor guy. Yeah, Pantheon doesn't have any disengagement tools, unlike Camille and Jax. He needs to fight. When you get on top of him, his only options are fight or die. Those, that's it. Those are his only options. And sometimes fighting also ends... What are you doing? Actually does a little bit of damage. Ah, oh, she missed. Get her. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Crap, am I gonna die here? Oh no! God damn it! <laughs> she just flashed over the wall. And unfortunately, support karma doesn't bring enough damage to get through uh, Jinx with a Lulu. It's too bad, because I got the... I was hoping my ultimate would be just enough to bring the Jinx to death, but it was a little short, and then Lulu shielded and all the other bullshit that she can do. Um, right, well, I got glory. Uh... 
This is kind of a Merc Treads game. Let's go Merc Treads. And then, do I really, I do need Magic Resist. Yeah, I need Magic Resist. Kind of worried. Arcogma has a penchant for dying. And as many kills as I have, I don't have enough to straight up carry right now. Uh-oh. Is Kimberly dead? Wait. Oh. oh he's, she's got it, I think. Nice! She just used her ultimate to juke backwards long enough to get the kill. Oh. Boo! It just died. Damn you, Baron! Why couldn't you wait five more seconds for to save worlds? Seriously, what is five more seconds? No! No! I mean, you're still gonna die. I think. Oh. Yeah, you better drop those. Oh. Bye bye. Look, I went for what I could go for. Got him. Oh my. Nice! He still died! Oops! <laughs> he flashed when a bullet must have been on its way over him, so he wasn't invulnerable anymore, wasn't invulnerable anymore and died. It was a nice thought, though. Very smart. It was the only way he was going to live. Oh, dude, did I pick up a red buff? Wait, why am I so healthy? Wasn't I really low on health? How am I so healthy? That's really weird. I was incredibly low. How did I heal to this amount? I'm very confused. Oh, two oceans. That explains it. That ex It's very rare when you notice what a big difference an ocean drake can do. This is one of those times. It just, I was nearly dead and then I'm not. And I didn't quite understand why. Yeah, the dragons. How much do these oceans give anyways? Um, I'm going to do the ocean escape. 8% of missing health and mana for 5 seconds. Wow. Yeah. I was really low, so it healed me a lot. Very nice. Ooh, glory's up. Hey, Pantheon, I want to fight. Do you want to keep pushing? I don't think he's gone. There's no way. The pa Wait, what the hell is this shit? Yeah, he's definitely gone now. Once he saw me walking through a ward, I'm pretty sure his first thoughts are, Oh God, oh God, Fetter God, oh God. Probably trying to make sure not to shit himself. Yeah, it's time to split. I see Corky bot lane. I saw... Oh. That was actually somewhat risky, because to be honest, the Pantheon was close enough to throw his ult, and the Jax is not. Damn it. Not enough damage. Fucking Lulu. If it was just the Jax and the Pantheon, I would have picked up a kill. I would have easily picked up a kill there. The Jax was really low. I swapped my focus properly. That should have been a kill. That's too bad. I can handle the 2v1. I cannot handle the 3v1. Well, I would be able to handle the 3v1 if it wasn't a Lulu. If the third one was, let's say, their Jinx or their Gorky, I would have picked up a kill. 
The Lulu shielded him, the Lulu polymorphed me, and that combination is the, the reason why he survived. Do you have teleport? No! She's gone. Wow! What the hell? God damn it. Well, she flashed. That much I am 100% certain. She did flash. Oh my god, the Kogma! Oh my god, the Kogma! Boy, I am tanky. And my glory's back up and ready to use. Oh, you look pretty dead. That means you're dead too! Oops! Some people really do underestimate the power of Urgot's fear, but it is ferocious. Oh, come on, take him! Take him! Take him! Damn, the Jax hurts. Yeah, now that I have Adaptive, though, that'll cut his damage down a lot. Let's get some extra armor. That will help too. GG, yeah, this game's over. My god, am I fat. Yes! Vengeance over my last game where I won, I think, 1 in 7? Wasn't good? 257 at 26 minutes. Tell you, boy, I Janeiro. What? Who the fuck is I Janeiro? And I don't know, what is this 257? Oh, dear. I guess it is. Whoa! Oh! Oh god! Oh god! That's not cool! <laughs> Zoe just fucking popped her! The Jinx was alive at 75% of her health. Zoe appears and that. Like, just gone! Oh my god. Yeah, sure, we can take Baron. I mean, we could. Go to Baron and do what? Hmm. I know, I just wanted their red buff first. I killed one more of these, because why not? They don't deserve two of them! One is plenty. Come here. I want you to see the Baron die. I want you... Aw, oh, he's dead too. <laughs> I wanted the Jax to see the Baron die. I felt like it's only fair since he's their jungler. I want him to see exactly what he's missing out on. Now, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to keep pushing. You, you guys feel free to end the game. I just want to keep pushing. Report ban AFK. Wait, what? Who's AFK? I've, if I'm not mistaken, I've seen every single one of them on their team for the duration of the game. Fuck Zoe. Well, that was a good game. More than makes up for the really shitty one I had right before it. Uh, Kendrick was good. Zoe was also really good. Um, mm, mm, mm. I'll give it to the Kindred, because she did help out early on, which got my snowball going. And once I started snowballing, the Pantheon fell off the face of the planet. Four and nine. Ouch. Yeah. Wow. The Zoe. Zoe's win rate is total shit. And yet, somehow, she can still have games like this where her damage is just disgusting. Because if I'm not mistaken, in mid lane, she's got the lowest win rate right now. 
Never mind. She used to have the lowest win rate. She didn't have 48%. All right. I, I remember a couple weeks ago, it was like 43%. No 